I know it's hard to believe, but we are halfway through 2020 and the year has seen its fair share of major events. And there's one that certainly stands out potentially in November, let's say. Yeah, we're gearing up yeah. for a busy presidential election season. And Florida is always, you know, front and center here. Just last week, Jacksonville became the official host of the upcoming Republican National Convention. And there's speculation swirling about who Joe Biden will pick as his running mate. Julie Broughton caught up with UCF history professor and News 6 political analyst Jim Clark. We know him well here on News 6 at 9. He tells us what we can expect leading up to results 2020. Not surprising that Orlando wasn't chosen. No, it's not surprising at all. Orlando has been mentioned over the last 20 or even 30 years, ever since the coming of Disney. But uh, this year, there were some particular issues. First of all, Governor DeSantis is from the Northeast portion of Florida. He relates to Jacksonville, his political base is there. And so from the get-go, he favored Jacksonville. Uh, the second thing is that traditionally, Orlando has shunned the conventions because they come during the summer. And that's the high tourist season for Florida. The hotels are already full, the amusement parks are full. And frankly, a convention would just strain things. So that's been a factor in the past. I also think there's some uh, political things going on. First of all, Orlando and Orange County are democratic. Uh, we have a city mayor, Mayor Dyer, who's a Democrat. We have a county mayor, Mayor Demings, who's a Democrat. So the host, if it was at the convention center, would be Mayor Demings, whose wife may end up being Joseph Biden's running mate. So I think it might be a little bit awkward. Finally, I think the ongoing problem is that people see Orlando and Las Vegas as non-serious places, places you go to have fun. Is this a good thing for Florida? Yeah, I think so, especially Jacksonville. Uh, Jacksonville has never had anything like this. We get conventions much larger than the Republican National Convention every week during uh, good times here. So this is gonna be good for Jacksonville. But remember, the key to Florida is the I-4 corridor. That's why we saw President Trump come here to Orlando to announce his intentions to run again. And that's why he's going to be here uh, at least a dozen times between now and November. And you mentioned Congresswoman Val Demings, a lot of talk about her potentially being Biden's running mate. Talk about that. You know, a lot of people say that maybe her police experience doesn't necessarily bode well for her chances there. What do yeah. you think about that? I think that it cuts both ways. I think a lot of people are going to see her law and order stance as uh, helping Biden, but it may also bring out uh, protests, people pointing to things that happened on her watch, uh, and uh, maybe even bring out some protests, which Biden does not need. When do you think who will make an announcement? When do you think we'll hear? I think it'll be closer to the, the convention. Everything is moving so, so fast. And things are changing, Julie. For example, uh, just a few weeks ago, the senator from Minnesota looked like the front runner for the vice presidential nomination. And now she has become a target of criticism for her treatment of African Americans accused of crimes in, in Minneapolis. So I think he's going to try to wait and make sure everything settles down. It's always so good to talk to him it about is. everything. Yeah, we've talked about voter turnout at the general election in Florida and the potential impact of COVID-19. And Dr. Clark says he expects election supervisors to be very involved at polls on election day and voters can expect more security. And right now, the latest polls show that former Vice President Joe Biden has a lead over President Trump. But remember, there's still a long way to go until November and it will come down to the very end like it always does. Like it always does, yeah.